Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton, so we've got an Audi A4 Avant, 2 litre TFSI 35 S line, finished in monsoon grey metallic paint. All of the wheels and tyres are in very good condition, these are 19 inch alloys, diamond cut finish and sort of a black shadow effect, I believe they're called 10 spoke V design but they have a nice little upgrade over the standard S-Line wheels. Um, at the back you've got an electric tailgate and a nice large boot with 40-20-40 uh, split fold rear seats uh, so the centre seat will fall down individually to give you some through loading if you need it and you've got some netting on the right hand side there. Uh, this car has got MOT until August 2024 and will come with a full Audi service history recently serviced in August of 2023. Inside we have the S-Line Leather and Alcantara sport seats, really nice quality seats, big bolster on the side of the base to keep you in place. You've also got under thigh sport if you need it which just pulls out there and you've got a nice S badge um, at the top of the seat on the leather section and in the back you've got the same seats as the front with the exception of the central seat which is just leather and up front we have your rev counter on the left, speedo on the right and your digital screen in the centre, currently showing a digital speedo, uh, but you've also got um, your driving uh, data such as your um, fuel consumption, um, mileage over long distance, short distance, that sort of stuff. Then we've got your media and radio, your phone and your nav on there as well. <coughs> On the main screen we have Audi smartphones, so you've got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car. If you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through, then you can do that just via Bluetooth as well. Um, we do have DAB FM AM radio and built-in nav. Uh, it's nice and easy to use, uh, nice and clear, you can change the points of interest, that sort of stuff. Um, but if you are using CarPlay and Android, then you're probably just going to be using um, Apple Maps, Google Maps, Waze, whatever your preferred preferences on there but if you do happen to use the inbuilt system it is nice and easy to use um, and then on the vehicle info or the car section uh, you've got Audi drive select so you've got various different drive modes including an individual setting so you've got engine and gearbox which you can change and the steering which you can change as well uh, then we've got your various driver assist so you can change the volume and the turn of the parking sensors that sort of stuff on there and then we've got your servicing and checks at the bottom there <coughs> moving down we have um, your climate control so we have a three zone climate control so you've got temperature for the driver the passenger and the rear um, you can have them all synced up as they are now so when you change the driver the passenger and the rear will change or you can have three zone on so they will all be different and you can also set the rear from here as well um, so if you know someone's going to get in the back and they like it warm then you can turn that up in the rear as well uh, you'd also have heated front seats and a heated rear screen and then further down we've got your drive select shortcut so you can quickly scroll through your drive modes without having to go through the main infotainment system and then you've got engine start stop stability control and your parking system so you've got front and rear sensors with the display that will come on automatically when you put the camera to reverse or you can turn it on and off by pressing the P button there um, and then we've got this button to turn the screen off down here you've got a 12 volt socket you also got a USB input if you <coughs> if you are using CarPlay or Android then you're gonna have to use a USB because it's not wireless so there's one there um, and then we've got a push button start a couple of cup holders the controls for the entertainment system itself so you've got a swivel wheel with your shortcut buttons and your preset buttons if you want to use those as well and then we've got an S-Tronic gearbox you've got uh, with it being the S-Line you've got perforated leather on the gear selector um, as usual you've got a standard drive mode and a sporty setup for the gearbox in standard drive it's set more for efficiency whereas in sport mode it will hold the revs a bit longer and make it more a performance feeling for the gearbox and you will get an S on the screen in front so you've got an S there which is a sport and then you've got D which is standard drive and then we've got an electronic parking brake hill hold assist your volume controls little storage area which is perfect for the key it is keyless start and then we've got some more storage under here with another USB and an aux input as well and you can move the central armrest to where you want it as well 
and then in the glove box uh, you've got a good amount of space it's lined with felt you've also got a cd player which is located in there and you've also got decent sized door bins as well and up front let's move the steering wheel um, we have uh, an S-Line steering wheel, so you've got S-Badge there, piano black inserts um, and perforated leather again on the grip areas. On the left hand side you've got the controls for the drives display and on the right hand side you've got your volume, uh, track skip, hands free controls there as well. And on the back of the steering wheel you've got paddle shifters uh, if you want to use it in a manual style of driving. Uh, you've also got cruise control and speed limiter. Then on the right hand side you've got rain sensing wipers automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors with electric fold as well. Uh, being the S-Line you do get Alcantara in the door cards as well and four-way electric lumbar support on the front seats. Uh, in the back you've got the same leather and Alcantara styling with ice fix anchor points on the outer rear seats. You've also got a fold down central armrest and as I mentioned earlier split fold seats so you can drop the whole centre seat down to give yourself some through loading and then you've got a temperature control and 12 volt socket in the back as well with decent door bins in the rear which will fit a decent sized bottle in there um, A4 Avant is a really nice car in general um, I think the wheels on this really sort of lift it a bit as well it's a good looking car very easy and nice to drive um, it will come with six months gold cover warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something that you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.